Talk about having a double edge, well, stunning moment during a particular day. And it happened to Ghanaians um, just yesterday. Girl, he, Larry Clinton that. lost the elections in the United States. Let's talk about balloting, Roland. And then we had ballots. Some people were removed, others were still kept. So now we know the individuals and the candidates who will be standing for elections and based on their numerical uh, positions on the ballot sheet or the ballot paper. So we will tell you today, right now, very soon. But you also should know that you need to start learning what numeracy means in the <laughs> spirit as well as in the physical because the pastors will be descending on us very, very soon with a lot of prophecies. What does one mean, two means, three means, four means, five means, six means, seven? That's your way of welcoming everybody to the show. Thanks for joining us for the show. My name is Roland Walker. And I am Mama Vio Usobwaje. Today is the 10th of November. We're grateful as always uh, that you join us here on the show. Remember, we're on till nine. Right, L let's run by you what we have for today. We'll bring you the latest news update. We'll also do a review of the newspapers, look at our online portals, and then we'll talk the mainstream issues. Yeah, we're talking uh, balloting, uh, really, because... Yesterday, we didn't see it coming. Because if you remember, the Electoral Commission issued a press statement that said that on the 10th of November, mm -hmm. which would have been today, they were going to ballot and see where each presidential candidate would be in terms of the numbers. Uh, but they did it yesterday, quoting the Supreme Court. Remember when the Supreme Court did its ruling that said they should extend the nomination period so that uh, the other candidates who had been disqualified previously uh, could correct the errors in their doc documentations. Uh, they did say that because of timing, the Electoral Commission could quickly get on with the other things that they had planned to do. So they took advantage of it. Uh, very smart, Charlotte was saying there yesterday, doing right there. Some people had concerns, though, so we're going to... Uh, but now it has been done, so no injunction. What are you injuncting? Yep. Yeah. And we'll be joined in the studio by Kaji Abdul Raouf of the CPP alongside Al Haji Frimpong of the NDP. Mm. But we know that uh, Nanada Dankwe Kofuado is on, no, as number five on that ballot paper, and the NDC's John Dramani Mahama is number three. Already, I hear there's a high five and there's John 316. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And so uh, we also know that uh, the MPP's uh, flag bearer, Nanado Dankwe Kufado, has been speaking to members of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, uh, known to uh, many of us as Guta, and we'll bring you a lot more analysis on, on what their discussions had been, and then we'll hear the campaign platforms. Mm. What are the, all the other parties up to? I heard uh, Mrs. Uh, Kunedu Ajiman Rollins say yesterday that we've totally ignored her, the media not reporting on her campaign yeah. activities. We've been biased towards uh, her. Yeah. So what are all the other parties doing? The NDC, the NPP. Now we know the NDP is also in the race. The CPP, the PPP. There's an independent presidential candidate, Jacob Osei Yeboa. He's actually here on our show. Is he number seven? Yes, he is number seven. And he's given a lot of interpretation to number seven on that ballot. That's like a seal hole. I mean, you don't have to see any other thing, do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So we'll wrap up with a lot more entertainment. But as we do that, please know that you can always get interactive because we're streaming live on our Facebook page. Join us on TV. It's a page's name. And also you can catch us live on our YouTube channel, My Joe Online. But mm -hmm. we have a WhatsApp platform. Yeah, 0560 800,000. So start getting interactive with us right now on 0560 800,000.